Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in once again. This is Tom from Regal Robot, here to have another chat with a friend of mine and somebody who uh, is an absolute uh, legend in the special effects world, Mr. Phil Tippett. Uh, we were going to do a video chat, but due to some technical difficulties, we're going to go with just audio. I'll apologize in advance for any of the audio quality. Um, it seems we are both better at sculpting monsters than making technology work. For this chat, we're going to talk more about things like the maquettes that are behind me. Uh, thanks for giving this a look, and uh, I hope you enjoy. I know from when I sculpt stuff, there are times where I go in and I have a really clear picture in my mind of what I want this thing to be. Other times I'll have a little bit of a thing, and then sometimes I just start and the clay just sort of takes you somewhere. Um, do you Do you have all three of those do you always have something in mind when you start what, you know what's yeah how does it usually flow for you well it depends on what i'm doing you know it's like you know george wanted a what they were calling it at the time a snow lizard mm -hmm. you know for the tom tom and so right. like oh that's the stupidest thing i ever heard of <laughs> and so i did um you know, a, a couple of afternoons, I, I, you know, did a bunch of, you know, it could be this, it could be that, you know, I wasn't tied to anything. Right. And, you know, gave George a lot to, um, you know, uh, choose from mm. as a direction, which he really appreciated. And then when, you know, uh, and then I made a, a maquette of the Tom Tom, yeah. which we I could restore. So, uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> um, they were actually up at the archives again just recently doing more scanning on, on some of those old maquettes. Um, the, not that Tauntaun, but, but a bunch more of the, the Jedi maquettes. Um, it's been a fascinating process. I actually have to thank you. You, you know, between you and, and uh, Ken and Kirk and, and even uh, Judy and Tom Sanamon and Dave Carson, like everybody has really pitched into figuring out who sculpted each of these things. Uh, right. And it's been like this great little archaeological project to sink our teeth into figuring out, you know, wh where did all of these come from? Um, on, on those tauntauns, so uh, you were talking about the first sort of draft of what we came to know as the final tauntaun, sort of uh, a little smaller than the final final draft, which you did, which we offer yeah, the replica it's of. It's really tiny. It's just a sketch. Yeah. Um, and so George saw that and just said, yeah, yeah. And that's what subsequently I, I found that George was much more inclined to pretty much immediately go for a maquette. Mm. You know, uh, the 2D stuff that, you know, Ralph and Joe and Nilo would do, you know, that whole thing kind of turns into a, well, what about this tail and that tail and, you know, um, uh, but with the maquette, you know, uh, George, you know, could see it, you know, yeah. Yeah. and I got um, to some degree autism, so I can see things in my mind, you know, hmm. and, um, you know, turn them around and, um, you know, so I can kind of see them volumetrically. Mm. Sometimes, I mean, the day job when I'm supposed to do like um, a dragon, you know, if there's something in the script, then it's very, that's a target, um, you know, and then other things like, you know, Job of the Hut, you know, we were all kind of at a stalemate and, um, and then somehow I came up with the design and it's like you said. You know, you just start, yeah, and it takes you. Uh, you know, you ride the wild elephant. <laughs> right, the elephant takes you where it wants to go. Yeah, that really does happen too. Yeah, it's it's um, and and it's sometimes I, I liken it to playing music. Um, I I play guitar forever, and I feel like there's times where you play the guitar and then there's times where the guitar just sort of plays and you're along for the ride. Um, right. and, and that's it. You get into the right creative space. You get, 
you know, started and you're emotionally set for it and, and available to it. And then it's just, yeah, you put your hands in it and it sort of tells you where it wants to go. Um, yeah, no, I call it zone. For sure. Yeah. To, to get specific to the Tauntaun, so some of those early sketches you did before we're talking the, the full body, these four busts that we've got going, when you're art directing a project or something, you ask someone for four looks on something and you get, you know, four of basically the same thing they've already shown you. <laughs> um, whereas these are four really drastically different things. Uh, is there a, a discipline to, you know, forcing yourself to, to, to go that broad, to, to get outside of the box like that? We're good. No, it's, it's literally... I'm not committed to anything. You know, yeah. it, it could be this, it could be that, right. you know. Um, On some of these, I've noticed that they're sculpted asymmetrically as well. Like you'll have, there's a couple of these that have two different faces if you look at them on the left and the right. Is that a trick you, you've done a lot? Yeah, well, I, it's economizing. Yeah. You know, it's, it's just giving, um, you know, the director of, you know, more choices. Hmm. And I, I always, of course, you know, like, like many people, um, did, uh, you know, uh, you know, really push the asymmetry of the face. Mm -hmm. And, and, uh, I mean, it, see, it seems like for you, I think you said earlier, you know, nothing's precious when you're going. And I think maybe the ability to do that, to be able to say that and commit to it uh, leads to a more organic asymmetrical, and result yeah, you know it's kind of like being a kid and playing you know mm -hmm. with your army man, you right. know so it's like oh it's fun you know you know what 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 will i see next what's what will i transcribe from god you know so there we go uh we hope you guys enjoyed that chat uh once again apologies for any of the audio quality there but uh Certainly uh, hope it was worth a listen to you. Uh, if you are interested in any of the stuff we've been talking about, things like the Max Rebo maquette, the weak way over there, this Tauntaun, uh, or the new brand new Tauntaun bus that are behind me, uh, go to regalrobot.com slash Star Wars. You'll find all that stuff. And if you happen to be on the Regal Robot website, I would just say, uh, if you like the sort of stuff we were talking about, you like the sort of stuff that we make, uh, join our email newsletter. We don't send out a lot of email, but anytime we do something new, we always tell folks there. And that's the way to be in the in the no crowd and to get, uh, get first shot at all of this stuff. So, once again, thank you so much. Find us on social media. We're at Regal Robot everywhere. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe, as the kids say. Thanks. Take care.